Hey there, welcome to another episode of Pat TV. I'm your host, Ruben Quinones, and we have Sarah Dryden here, one of the digital strategists at Pat TV. How are you? Or Pat Interactive, rather. How are you? <laughs> I'm lovely. How are you? Very good. So I dragged you in here. You know, I, I, I you know, felt like I sat you down and really planned you for this, but you're doing this day to day, anyways, as far as you know, keyword research and placing keywords throughout a page. I wanted to talk about the importance of keyword focus. There's a misconception in the industry, you know, most people just jam keywords into a page because they're trying to optimize for Very so ugly. much. Very Not the right thing to do, right? Um, I usually, I have one primary key phrase, and I like to space that out most, mostly in the main header, and then maybe in a couple other headers, and then a few more times throughout the page, but where um, some keyword focus really comes in is these secondary or supporting key phrases. Mm -hmm. That helps support your initial primary key phrase as well as break up the sort of monotony of this keyword focus. So it should be closely related to that, that primary focus, right? Usually I have like maybe one word is the same or maybe a variation of the same word, maybe a right. plural form or something like that. And again, that really comes obviously from the keyword research. We're maybe going a little bit ahead, but it's like once we pick out what those closely related terms are, that, that should be the focus of the page, that's where we start displaying in the headlines and the subheadlines. Right. It doesn't help if your supporting key phrase is vastly different than your primary, but if they dovetail, then if you have a good, a good broad range that your uh, page will try can, to have it for. Can you answer the question of why not just go after five keywords on a, on a page? You get too many, and then it just becomes too, you have to keep some level of focus, but it helps to not put all your eggs in one basket. Right, right. That's so you, why we do primary, a secondary, and then at times another one more supporting. Okay, and otherwise you're, I guess you're diluting um, the focus of what you really want exactly. to write. Exactly, diluting is a good word. One more question: Do you or no right or wrong? Does the page dictate the keywords, or does the key keywords dictate the page? I like to let the page dictate the keywords. I right. spend a lot of time reading the content on the whole site that I'm working on, as well as on that page specifically. And because sometimes that page isn't specific enough by itself, so I let it, I say, oh, what it really means is this, so I'll just define it more strictly with some keywords. Very cool. All right. Well, so that was a quick SEO tip as far as, um, you know, placing keywords in your copy and how to go about doing that the right way, um, or at least a, a more efficient way. Um, so, you know, it's, it's Stick in for or, or tune in for future episodes on just some SEO tips. And we've been talking a lot about social, and I figured you know we, we do SEO as well, so we might as well talk <laughs> about that as well. So until next week, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time. And thanks for coming on. Okay. Take care.